Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers how to use the free Google Meet Grid View extension to see everyone in a Google Meet. Normally, when you're in a Google Meet video conference, you can only show at most four people at a time, like this. You do that by clicking on the three dots button in the bottom corner, and then choosing Change Layout, and then selecting the tiled view rather than the sidebar or spotlight view, which only shows one person. Unfortunately, this only lets you see up to four people at a time, even if you have more people in the meeting. In this example, I have nine people in the meeting, and yes, they are all just me, just from different accounts. So what do we do if we want to see everybody in the meeting? Well, thankfully, there is a free Google Chrome extension called Google Meet Grid View that allows you to see everyone in the meeting, no matter how many people there are. Let's see how this works. First, because this is a Chrome extension, you will need to be using the Google Chrome web browser, and you'll need to be using a PC, a Mac, or a Chromebook. Extensions do not work on mobile devices, so this grid view tool would not work on an iPad or an iPhone or an Android tablet or phone. Also, if you are using a school account, it is possible that your tech folks may automatically push this extension out to you so that it may already be installed for you. If so, you can skip the next few directions on how to install it. If you do need to install the extension, though, you will need to go to the Chrome Web Store at chrome.google.com slash web store. Now, once you get there, you can use the search box in the top left-hand corner to search for Google Meet Grid View. Once you find it, you can simply click on the Add to Chrome button to install the extension. You will need to give it permission to install. And then that's it. This is a one-time procedure. The extension will now show up in the top right-hand corner of your web browser with an icon that looks like four little squares. Now again, if you're using a school account, it is possible that your school may have blocked the extension or may not allow you to install extensions. As always, please contact your school tech team for questions that are specific to your school account. Now let's say you have the Grid View extension installed. How do you use it? Well, once you're in a Google Meet, you'll now see a new button up in the top right-hand corner next to the People and Chat options. This is the Grid View button. Simply click on the button to turn Grid View on or off. Let's try it. And that's it. Once you turn it on, you will now see all of the participants in the meeting. Now there are a few options that you can adjust in the drop-down menu below the button. First, there's the option to only show participants with video. If you check this box, then Grid View will not show anyone who has turned off their webcam or who doesn't have a camera to begin with. For example, I'll turn off my webcam for one of the accounts here and we'll see that person disappear from Grid View. And there they go. And then I'll turn the webcam back on. And they're back. The second option in the drop down menu is the highlight speakers option. If you check this box, then anytime someone is speaking, a yellow box will appear around them in the grid. This can make it easier to see who's talking. And the final option in the drop down menu is the include yourself in the grid option. You can check or uncheck this if you want to see yourself as well or not. Now keep in mind this extension is only changing the view for me and not for the other people in the meeting. Each person controls their own view. So for other people in the meeting to see the grid, they also need to install the extension one time and then they can turn the grid view on or off for themselves. Having said that, there is one trick you could do as the presenter to let other people see the grid, even if they are on a phone or a tablet. What you could do is turn the grid view on for yourself and then share your screen with the other participants. To do this, you would click on the Present Now button in the bottom right-hand corner and then choose the Window option. Now you would select the window that has your Google Meet screen 
and click Share. Now the other participants will see your screen, which has the grid view turned on, which would work no matter what sort of device they're using, including phones or tablets. Now don't forget to stop sharing your screen when you're done by clicking the presentation button again and choosing Stop Presenting. Google Meet Grid View is a great extension to help everyone in a meeting or a classroom feel like they are more connected with the group. And those are the basics for installing and using Google Meet Grid View. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.